All right, guys, today we're talking about daytime sword fishing. This is something I've been doing for a long time. I've owned, I'm on my fourth boat now, and ever since my first one, which was a 21 foot Mako, I've been daytime sword fishing. I've been daytime sword fishing for over 10 years now, way back when we were hand lining the weights, filling pipes with concrete. I mean, now the game's a lot easier with the LPs and, and the better uh, technology to get down there and get them. Uh, I'm going to show you how to rig your own baits, how to get your own bait to this point right here. Um, I'm going to show you the rod and reel that I use, how I rig the, the weights, uh, the lights, the rubber bands, everything. So um, watch the video and uh, check it out. It's going to be a good video. All right, so we're going to rig up our swordfish bait. Need mono. We're using 200 pound. Let's go to the hook. 90. J hooks. Gonna need a sharp knife, some wax line, crimpers, or your crimps to match your 200, some cutters, and whatever color you want to put over your your rig bait. Let me go get the uh, bonita we were talking about. All right, so we're gonna cut our bonita and we want to use this down here is the best best part of it for a sword bait it's nice and soft so we're gonna fillet this sucker This is the part that we want, but we got to get rid of this excess meat. We want to leave a little bit of meat on there though. Alright, <clears throat> I showed you guys some small, smaller leader, smaller hooks. I'm gonna show you some bigger hooks. So you can use pretty much whatever you want for these swords. It's just personal preference. But this is a big Jobu hook. It's called a Jobu. I think this is a 12-0. Um, that's a real nice hook. Um, here's some bigger hooks also. Uh, if you like bigger hooks, I mean, really the bigger the hook, the more the, more the hook's gonna be exposed. Um, these, these have 300 pound mono we use 200 pound on the last one this is 300 um, I use single barrel aluminum crimps I crimp them twice so here's bigger mono bigger hooks um, they stick out further you can get hooked up a little bit easier but then again you know you're weighting down your bait and um, it could spin get out of here B it could spin a little bit but uh, I'm gonna show you what that looks like so yeah already crimped up I got several of them They're already ready to go um, nice thing is when your bait washes out and you're done with it you can just cut all the cut it all off and and start over so here's our bait I'm gonna do like we did on the last one I'm gonna give it a little cut right here so it folds easier It's a big bait. Um, it's gonna go fit up in there in a big skirt, nice, nicely. So we're gonna take our hook. We'll do the Jobu hook on this one. Once you're crimp right at the nose of the bait, wherever it curves out, that's where you're gonna make your hole. So you can pop it through like that. Pull it down. Just like that. So you got a nice big hook coming out of there. I 
Um, I'm actually going to move it down a little bit further. Way and get the hook in the bait more. Ah, there we go. That's where I want it. Like that. Um, take our needle. straight down through the bait down tie it off one time now instead of cutting this one there's several ways to do it I'm gonna go right back down through the bottom like this and then I'm gonna tie it again all right so now we're gonna sew it let's cut this off first right to the other side this is a nice big thick bait pull it through we sell plenty of wax line to work with stuff's cheap just tie it right across the hook like that just like that Do it again. We're gonna go right down the hook and squish the meat if you want. And go right through it. One side. Boom. The other side. Pull it through. I think this is the last one we're going to do. Put all your excess off. All right, there we go. See? Your hooks. Now you got a lot of hook out there. You got a lot of meat right here. It's all sewed up. Here's an eyelet. It's about half an inch behind the hook you can even go one more if you want to it's a lot of meat hanging out there to, to dangle around 300 pounds you got your crimp now you just want to pull your your skirt all the way over so your crimp's just sticking out past right there and that's that's a big piece of meat and a big skirt that's why we got a, a lot of root so we're going to need a big hole to get that crimp through there so i'm going to use the hook to make a big hole Right in the nose of this sucker. Need to stretch it out pretty good. I like bigger baits. Some people think bigger baits, bigger fish. I don't know. I just like bigger baits. Swordfish got a pretty big mouth. Swordfish is a pretty big fish. Like, why not? Some guys like smaller baits. Some people think smaller baits drift better. Some people think bigger baits you just find. I, I prefer bigger baits, but that's why I make them all. Throw them all down there and see what works, right? So here we go. There's your hook. 
book. Careful you don't stick yourself self in the hand. But you want to pull this through. Sometimes it can be tough. There it is. Popped right through there like a champ. Um, there's your bait. Uh, these skirts are big, and they're and they're long. So I mean, you could fish it like that if you want. I always prefer to cut just at least a little bit off the tail because I want this flapping back there. So I'm gonna cut just a tiny bit off of this one because this is a big bait. So let's go with like maybe an inch and a half. We're gonna cut off of there. That. I think that looks pretty good. That right there looks like it's gonna get pretty tight. Yep, that's a pretty good one. So there you have it. You know, you go out fishing, catch your own bonitas, throw them in your freezer. Or you can even go ahead and strip them out, put them in your freezer for later. Uh, when I go fishing with the kids, I we just throw the bonitas right in the freezer. And then when I want to come out here and spend a day rigging baits for sword fishing, that's what I do. And that's what I'm doing right now. There you go. I've got three more to rig up. So uh, I'm going to rig those up and I'll show you how to vacuum seal them. All right, so here we go. We got all of our baits made up. All nice and pretty. These are big boys. I like big baits. It's a 300 pound mono, big hooks. Here's the Jobo hook one you saw us made. These are just regular J hooks. They're not stainless. They're not laser pointed sharpened, but I file them with a sharpener before I use them. So, and we're gonna vacuum seal everything. And before we do that, We're gonna put some brine on it, keep them fresh. You catch any good? I haven't gone yet. Oh, all right. Just getting I saw you playing with them. That's all. Getting ready. All right, so I use a, a vacuum sealer that uses the clear bags. It doesn't have the mesh on one side like a lot of vacuum sealers do. This one's completely clear on both sides so you can get a good look at your bait. Um, this is one of the only vacuum sealers that I found that could do that, and it was only 80 bucks. I got it on Amazon. I mean, I've been using it for eight years. A DZ280A vacuum sealer. Um, works great. Never had a problem. We got our brine on there. We got our bait rigged up. We're gonna put our bait in our bag. That's the other thing. Find bags that'll fit your baits. You know, these are these are tough bags, so the, the whole the hooks won't poke through them. And they're, they're elongated. Um, again, you can find all this stuff online. I don't know exactly where I got the bags from, but I'm sure if you google vacuum sealer bags you'll find them so there we go we got our bait in our bag we're gonna pull our our vacuum tongue out we're gonna stick our bag on it like this lock it in place we're gonna get all that air out of there Get it where we like it, where we got all the air out of it, we're gonna seal it. Make sure it's sealed good. These are heavy duty bags. There we go. Look at that. Something you'd find in a tackle shop. Caught our own bonitas. $2 skirt, $4 hook, 
I mean, I've got five dollars in this bait right here, including the bag, instead of twenty-five. So I'm gonna I'm gonna seal the rest of these bad boys up, and uh, we'll see you in a minute. All right, here they are. They're all ready to go. You just stick them in your freezer or whatever you got. Get ready to go sword fishing. You grab a couple of them, whatever you're feeling that day. The other two stay in the fridge, freezer for another day. And ready to rock.